Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, Down to Earth Tarot. This is your general energy reading for all air signs. We are laying out the cards right now. Please do not forget to like, comment down below if this resonates for you. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't um, down below. Please do not forget to subscribe for your daily tarot uploads. I upload every single day. Find me on bottom of the deck. Um, Instagram for personal and private readings. Um, and air signs, we can get right into it. At the bottom of the deck, we have the eight of baskets. So having to walk away from something that's emotional here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy. Maybe you were dealing with a water sign, or maybe this is just a very emotional time for you. But this is having to make a major decision, a major emotional decision about cutting something loose, walking away from something. Okay, air signs. At the top of the read, we have the five of coins. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. This is somebody feeling abandoned, left out in the cold, betrayed even. So with this eight of baskets and having to think about walking away from something, maybe you're worried about feeling somebody feeling betrayed, somebody, excuse me, my alarm, somebody feeling abandoned, somebody feeling left out in the cold, or maybe this was you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Maybe somebody left you out in the cold, or maybe this is how you felt after you had to make this decision. Maybe this person forced you to make this decision. Interesting, air signs. Let's get right into it. And the first card of the read is the Gullah Jack or the Hangman. Major Arcana here straight out of the gate. This is letting go, letting go of things that are no longer serving you. So with this eight of baskets, five of coins energy, if you've been betrayed, you don't want to keep this person around anymore. Or the universe is forcing you to let this person go. This is only hurting you. You must let it go with this Hangman energy. Okay, air signs. Two of sticks in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we're in Aries season. This is a time of action. But with this being in reverse, this is you being at a standstill about making a decision. Which way you want to go with this? You could be dealing with the fire sign. It could be a fire sign that has you in the situation thinking about whether or not you want to stay or go. If you have it, maybe it's a fire sign that betrayed you and you have to make this decision about whether or not you want to let them go. But know that you're at a standstill, at a halt, or refusing to make this decision because you know that there's a decision. You're at a crossroads here with this two of sticks in reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you have the six of coins. Taurus, Libra, excuse me, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy here. But this card specifically, even though it is earth sign energy, I am a Capricorn, so I love this deck and I love this card. This is Libra energy to me. This is all about somebody taking a gamble, taking a risk. So Libras, this to me is your energy. You are showing up here. This is you taking a gamble, taking a risk on yourself. Maybe this is you taking a risk on yourself when you let this person go, let this situation go that is no longer serving you. Or maybe this is you just step out of your comfort zone with this but know that with this this what this card is about is about um sixes have everything to do with balance needing to be restored here so this could be a situation where somebody had you in a third party situation gemini libra aquarius or maybe this is an imbalance with work-life balance maybe we're too focused on work and less on family and or vice versa but this is you taking a gamble, trying to restore some balance here. And this could have to do with money. Maybe you are taking some risk of money. Maybe you're um, investing in yourself. Maybe you're starting a new business here. But taking some risk, willing to take a gamble with the six of coins. And then we have the free man here. So this is the the full card. The first of the, or the zero, the major arcana. This is a brand new beginning. With this being in a verse, this to me is a brand new beginning that maybe you didn't choose. Maybe this is something that came upon you with this five of coins moment where somebody left you out in the cold and you had to figure it out. Maybe this new journey was pushed upon you with this free man in reverse. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have the nine of baskets. So we have the eight of baskets at the bottom having to walk away from something. And the nine of baskets, this is somebody being the total package here. Sitting, waiting for that ten, that tenth cup to be offered to them, which is either that ace of cups in my mind or the knight of cups, somebody marching in to give them that, to give them this offer, to propose that, hey, I wanna, I'm into you, or hey, let's make this official, or hey, let's get married. This is that. Somebody was a total package and sitting here waiting, and somebody missed out on this opportunity with it being in reverse. Was that you, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Were you the total package here and somebody missed out on you? Or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, did you, in fact, miss out on a water sign person who was the total package? Or are you just very emotional about this person because this was a miss, missed opportunity here? Let me know down in the comments. And we have the Aunt Caroline here, excuse me, the Aunt Caroline here with the Wheel of Fortune. So this is you closing out a cycle, 9, 10, 8, 9, 10. 
okay? So you're definitely getting towards the end of a cycle with a person here, or this could be a business. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't, air signs. But this to me is you're really taking a look at this situation and the universe is stepping in to clear things out so you can start the next chapter. Level up or um, learn the lessons from that that you were supposed to learn during this time. The universe is stepping in to clear things out for you and reveal some things to you. So with underneath this two of sticks, which is being stagnant, not making this decision, being at this crossroads, the universe has put you here. So you are supposed to make a decision. It's going to motivate you to do so. And what's going on with this gamble? Sagittarius energy here with the Father Sims. This is the Temperance card, having patience here. So with the Six of Coins, Libras, if this is your energy, be patient with whatever it is that you're taking this gamble on. If you're investing in yourself in a business, be patient. Continue to put in the work and you will eventually see the results. Continue to pour in. See, he's pouring into this thing all of himself. This is you pour into whatever that thing is. If this is a relationship, both people must pour into this for this to be whole. Okay? So pouring in, being patient. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is your energy here with the Three of Swords or the Three of Knives. This is the Heartbreak card. So maybe somebody did have you in a third-party situation and it did uh, force you into this period of a brand new journey because you just had to cut this person out. Excuse me, snooze button. Because you had to let this person go because they were hurting you. Maybe they betrayed you with this Five of Coins moment and that's at the forefront is this betrayal and having to walk away from something in the background. Okay, so there was a betrayal here. Maybe you're not communicating with this person. Knives have everything to do with communication and knowledge. Maybe you didn't know. Maybe this maybe this was revealed to you when this person walked away. But there's some heartbreak here. Somebody has hurt feelings. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you have the six of knives. Gem, this is your energy, air sign energy here. This is somebody walking away from a situation with or without closure. So again, with this five of coins energy and feeling abandoned and betrayed, somebody just left you with no closure. They just completely walked away, leaving you in this brand new, leaving you out there with this free man in reverse because this was a journey you didn't plan on starting over. You didn't plan for this. This, this to me hit you out of, out of the blue. And somebody just walked away. They may have even ghosted you or kind of they kind of tapered off in their communication with you is what I'm getting with this, where the seven of knives or the seven of swords is just completely ghosting somebody. No communication, just disappearing. And then we have the mother of sticks here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This this card for me is two things. It could be a strong, independent woman who's very focused on her money, but this is also the card of a mistress here. Did somebody have a third-party situation with the Six of Coins? Remember, this is a card of a third-party situation, imbalance in work-life balance, or this could be somebody unfairly giving to two here. This could be somebody had a mistress, somebody had something going on in the background, or maybe somebody had you as the mistress with this being in reverse. Maybe you didn't know that. They were shady. Maybe you were this missed opportunity, or maybe you thought this person was a missed opportunity, but they weren't with that nine of baskets in reverse. Interesting. In the universe, okay, this closing out this cycle is above this mother of sticks. Okay, so somebody, this was revealed to you. The universe stepped in and either revealed that you you were a mistress or there was a third party in this situation or somebody was cheating, but the universe is stepping in to show you these things, so do not miss these red flags. Six of baskets in reverse. This is the six of cups in reverse. This is the proposal card. So again, with it being in reverse, this is something being taken off the turn uh, off the table. If this is a proposal or somebody saying they want to be exclusive or take things to the next level, this is being taken off the table because something was revealed here. With this third party energy that I'm getting or this imbalance, this unequal give and take, because this could be a work situation, this could be a job opportunity, maybe you're refusing to accept some type of offer here, but something's being taken off of the table because maybe it's not a good investment or a good gamble. Somebody realizes that now. We have two sixes here. We have the six of baskets underneath this temperance, so having patience, and that's also underneath the six of coins. And these are reverse looking at each other, mirroring each other. So with this passion that's here that's being taken off of the table, maybe that's forced you to look at your money or you're gambling on love with this third party situation. Maybe somebody has to take a gamble and make a last minute decision, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me know if that's the case down at the bottom. And then we have the proposal card next to the marriage card, a solid and stable foundation in brand new passions. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. This could be... You breaking up to make up, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is what I'm getting here. Maybe you've had a falling out with this person, or maybe this is you cutting this person out, taking this thing off the table because you want stability somewhere else. Maybe it's with the fire sign. Maybe fire signs are just your flavor, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is you starting over, wanting starting over, wanting stability here, wanting to start something off on the right foot. So where if this is some type of shady situation, you may be cutting it out, or this is you starting back at square zero and trying to start off 
with a solid foundation with this person. But what you are not going to do is continue to work in the same energy. That cycle is closing itself out and it is under review right now. And you're taking a really good look at it. What's underneath this eight of baskets is the daughter of baskets. Okay, so more Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. This is somebody waiting for love. You have this big cup basket of love to offer somebody or all of the, or all this abundance things to offer this company. And you're waiting to show it off or you're waiting to give it to somebody. You Look at this person's waiting for something to come in. It's just not be, some it's just not coming into you. So this is you you have it all to give. You're just waiting the seven of baskets. This is having many options to choose from as well as illusion. So where somebody could have been manipulative here and you have to and you are at a crossroads about what are, what you're going to do with that. Maybe they had you in that third party situation. Maybe this is them having many options you but this is, could also be you Gemini Libra Aquarius. This could be you having many options to choose from and that's why you choose to cut this person out. Devil card energy here at the bottom of the deck as well underneath that seven of baskets. This is Capricorn energy here. Maybe you're dealing with the Capricorn, but this is toxic energy. This is great sex, but somebody is, their character is a little, mm, I don't know about that. This is questionable behavior. This is toxic energy, a toxic relationship here. Is it with a Leo person or a fire sign? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Dismiss this alarm. I know I have to go to work. Excuse me. This is some type of toxic relationship here that is, I feel like, is under review. Wheel of Fortune here. And it's coming to a close. There's a lack of information here. Somebody's not telling the truth. They're not giving some type of truth here. I feel like there's some type of energy um, um, elephant in the room. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, lack of truth, lack of information in this situation. And this is somebody putting their foot down and they are stonewalling here. They're not giving you any information. And again, the world card, this is it. I'm not pulling any more. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Wheel of Fortune closing out a cycle under review. And we have the World card. This is the pause before a brand new journey. So we have the full, the start of a brand new journey here. This is in reverse. This was put upon you. You weren't planning on this. This is you having this pause, this review time before you start this brand new journey. Where you feel like you've been thrown in it. This is a time for you to, to plan. While this was not thrown on you, because again, this is in reverse, this is not a bad thing at all. This is a time for you to plan, review things, and take a look at, weigh out the pros and cons. Did you really want this person in your life? Do you still really want this person in your life? Are these the type of actions that you want to have in the future from a future partner or from a future company? This is your time to move forward and think about those things before you before you take on, the before you start the next chapter. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, let me know if any of this resonated for you at all. Down in the comments, please do not forget to subscribe for your daily tarot uploads. Find me on my Instagram. I am at down the number two earth tarot, and I'll be checking in with you soon, earth signs. Keep it real.